Welcome back to Kuples Hearthstone Arena. Here we are with my best ever mage deck. Yeah, best ever for me at least. Let's go. Six victories, one loss. Okay, getting, getting towards the mythical seventh victory. Actually, I don't know if seventh victory now pays you the 150 gold back. Since that changed it, changed it up to 120. Uh, what? 110? Yeah. Since they changed the amount of victories up to 12. Had a bit of a brain fart there. Okay, uh, priest, finally something. Some, someone who is not a mage. Oh, good old demolisher. I like demolisher. It always messes with the, with the opponents. And yeah, okay. Well, it's pretty clear what I'm gonna be playing here. <laughs> Turn to demolisher, hopefully. Let's hope he doesn't have those uh, card draw one mana drops. What are they? I don't even re remember some priestesses. Looks like he doesn't have them. Okay. Greetings is so. Okay, here we go. Lepernome. Next turn, hopefully, Demolisher, unless he drops something. Something really annoying. I don't know what he could. Uh, yeah, you might have wanna save that for the Demolisher, demolisher bro. So, coin a demolisher it is. I'll see if he has a one of, another one of those cards. If he does, he'll definitely play it. And next turn. Yeah, he had one of them. Okay. That's fair game. And no, the problem is I don't have anything really to play, so I'll just start getting intellect. Okay, that's something to play, and that's not really something to play. I don't want to drop this guy without playing another card, though. So I guess I'll play a bit slower here. At least I have these two removals here. Maybe I can make this guy super strong and manipulate it? <laughs> or I could just drop him and mani manipulate it. Uh, not really that dangerous a thing. I don't want to waste a fireball on that, that thing a mob. drop this guy but it would be pretty close to being able to he would be close to being able to kill this guy still I don't have anything else really to drop I wonder. if I drop this guy I'll hopefully be able to drop the squire next time not squire but a knight so let's see how will this turn out I feel like I have slightly worse a Starting oh I'm great. Well this priest unlike the one I played like first has a lot of those cards. Kind of cold. Anyway, I definitely wanna drop this guy. Ready, sir. One turn. All right, all right. No next turn can I drop No I can't drop this guy and play a card still. Unless I get some cheap card. I definitely do want to drop this guy. But sooner rather than later, he's always a huge threat to the enemies. Okay, what does he have there? I've got a heat. Ah. Well, that's okay, he'll kill that. Yeah. Okay, now I definitely don't want to drop that, this guy as. So, should I? I don't really want to. And polymorph it too, but would that be better than a fireball? Hmm. God I damn it. I could fireball and then drop this guy, but I kinda wanna save this guy to drop with this guy then. Yeah, slight waste of a fireball, but fuck it. Then yeah, I'll... I guess I'll save it. I do have that flame strike there for next turn, if something comes up. Okay, yes. Okay, on smite. And he heals himself, and then what? Then nothing? Are all those buffs, or...? Well... Give me a 
I don't really know, but... Uh, definitely a, a scary thing to see, always. Always a scary thing to see come out is the questing adventurer. Only got him up to 33 here, but... I mean, what does he have there? Are all those buffs or... I mean, he had, had four mana to spare last time. I wonder. Ooh, Demolisher. I quite like that, actually. Inner fire. Okay, he made it 4-4. Four, four. Well, I think I'll... Uh, I wish he had dropped something else, too. Okay, uh, I definitely will fireball that thing down. Yeah. And I'll uh, do vaporize now. Quest accepted. And let's start uh, beating him down. Still have that flame strike there. Yeah, I'm guessing those are some sort of buffs or... Okay, he had one of those waiting for my adventurer to get high up. A yeti. Always annoying thing. Okay, frost bolt. I don't really want to waste a polymorph on chill wind yeti. Annoying thing is, I don't have much else to play here. Should I faceless manipulate the yeti? Faceless manipulate, frost bolt, and then ping. I mean, it would feel such a waste here, but I, I need something to have on the board, so yeah, this is a bit of a controversial thing, maybe. Then I'll frost bolt it. Then I'll ping it. Then I'll attack him. And turn. <sighs> this dude has four attacks, so he's actually really difficult for a priest to destroy. Not, not three or below attack, nor five or above attack. So maybe it was a smart thing to face as manipulate him to myself. I only thought of that attack thing. Oh yeah, I can heal that thing. But it's it's fine. It's fine. I can always throw this guy at it. At it. Of course, uh, hmm. Okay, well, this is a bit of an annoying spot. Then again, I, I have flame strike, so what am I wondering about? Wondering? What am I worrying about? Yeah, this is a time for a flame strike. I think this dude down. Basically, I want to try and try my best to keep the control. I can also lock them, lock things down. Oh, let's see. I should have a couple of more more flame strikes there. Oh, polymorph, polymorph. This is what I was saving the polymorph for. It. Oh man, or I could. Yeah, no, nope, not gonna even. Yeah, I'll just drop this guy and ping down the Isera. He did get one card, but that's that's a rather a bad value for Isera. Let's hope it, the card was not a horrifying one. Is there trouble? Uh, well, that's kind of an annoying thing, but not that bad. How much damage do I have here? Nine damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. I think I'll ignore this dude. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just drop shit and start beating him down and see what they do. Hmm. If they drop something more, I can then freeze them next turn. Okay, looks like that. Ah, that's an interesting choice to play, but. Does he have something else to keep himself alive? Uh, okay, and he'll kill that thing, but that's that's still not enough. A blade, I think he's. Yeah. So, seventh victory. Oh man, I can't believe this is going so well. Yay, seven victories. All right, let's go again. Toward 8th victory. This is 
as you may know or may not know, my definitely my best arena ever. Uh, maybe mages are a, b a bit overpowered, especially when you are given so many spells. Then again, I've beaten two mages pretty easily, so maybe my deck is just... Maybe I was just uh, lucky in what cards I got to pick, you could say. Well, I guess you need to be lucky to get go far away. Go far in the arena, I mean. Okay, I go first, so... Um, well, he's a paladin, so he, he may actually have a plenty of uh, things on the board, so my control tech might not be that bad to, do to have here. Alright, uh, greetings. And I get my leper gnome. Down it goes. Uh, next turn, maybe this guy, or maybe I'll ping down whatever he drops, if it's one health. Or if it's three health. You know, I can throw this guy at it, and okay, well, he did nothing, so I'll definitely drop a raider. Okay, two mana. What will he do now? Yeah, I should probably just go with Vaporize, yeah, and well, that really makes me want to just ping down myself. Flame Strike, yeah, I'll definitely ping this guy down. Hmm. I yeah, don't have that much uh, great things to drop yet. Okay, what is it that is coming out? He's coining into something. Maybe a shield master? No. Okay. Uh, let's see if I leave that up. Uh, if I leave that up, he'll kill both of these, won't he? So yeah, I think fireball and throwing the gnome at him is the best thing I can do. He still takes two damage from the gnome dying anyway. Maybe that was the big big play he had there. Who knows? I could have done vaporize, but I don't think he would have attacked me with that uh, uh, drake. He would have just gone for the minions, since he could have killed them both without losing the drake. Okay, what can I do? Uh, worgen. I don't really want to drop the worgen though. So I'll arcane intellect. Brewmaster and patriarch. Well, I wouldn't mind dropping the patriarch. If it means he wastes uh, his uh, sword on it. I can't drop this guy, he'll just kill it now. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's an annoying thing. Don't mess with Tusker. Ouch. Ooh, shield master. Um, wonder if he'll use his sword on this. First of all, is there a way for me to... Ooh, I can flame strike next turn. If I drop this guy and this guy, this guy will definitely get killed. What to do? So I'll, I guess I'll just uh, drop shield master and try to weather the storm a bit. And out comes flame strikes next turn. I would think he'll hit the shield master himself and then maybe hit it with the... Or something like that. Oh man, that was a unlucky hit. He can now kill it with his sword. I hope he feels... Uh, tempted to do that with his sword. Okay. The one shield, well that won't... That won't kill it yet. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Yeah, he, annoying thing is he still has this goddamn sword here. Man, I'm tempted to mine control tech now, but all these are kind of a small fries, so... Yeah, it's a flame strike time. Ah, oh, man, that sword is annoying thing to look at. Oh, that's an interesting drop. For duty. So, we could polymorph something. I think I want to drop this guy and let's see if I go questing adventure. Questing adventure will definitely die. I feel like I got this guy and maybe vaporize. I, I do kind of want to ping down the shield too, though. Hmm. If I drop this guy and don't ping down the shield, he'll just uh, die. 
Let's see. I mean, he'll kill it with his sword anyway. I hope he'll kill it with his sword. Hmm. Hmm. If I don't... If I don't vaporize what he will... Uh, I have to ping down the shield, otherwise he'll just throw this guy and this guy at this guy. So... Okay. I'm guessing he'll use his sword to kill it. Which is kind of what I hope for. I get rid of his sword now. Let's hope he doesn't have another one of those. The light protects me. Okay. My shield for Argon. Okay, I'll definitely wanna try and mind control tactics. Uh, fireball. First of all. Let's see, what can I do? I can do a couple of things. I, I want a mind control deck. Let's see. Okay, well, uh, not that bad. Not that bad. At least it's 3 3 and not like 1 1. Um, um, um. I could also pull him back with this guy and use him again, though I don't think he'll have. Hmm. Let's see, is there something I wanna really get rid of? I mean, I would pull him off this guy maybe and leave him with, with little on the board. Oh, what did, what did I do? I could vaporize and then what? Ping down that. Yeah, I think vaporize and pinging down that thing might be the best. I'll see if he'll just try to rush me down now. He has those two taunts, so he doesn't necessarily have to try and kill all my creatures here. Yeah, he'll uh, sacrifice the 1-1 one, one to my vaporize. Smart thing to do. Definitely. Throw your small fries at mage that has a secret up. I'm actually pretty happy if he saves these two. I always have a chance to pull that, pull that uh, flame strike here. Oh, that's not a nice thing. Please, flame strike now. Well, that's not a flame strike. Have I lost the game now? Let's see, I can get rid of. That dude, that dude. I can polymorph and fireball. <laughs> wow. First of all, I almost wanna polymorph this guy. Let's see, polymorph fireball ping is like the best, best way I can do this. I'll have to lose one dude, so I guess it's this guy. I could pull him back and uh, then you get that buff back, or I could. I'm not totally sure if I'm dead yet. I may be dead anyway. So, and now if I wanna polymorph something, it should be this guy, isn't it? Shouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I can fireball him. I almost wanna polymorph this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Fireball this guy. Polymorph this guy. And being. Ping it down. Now oh, he has three damage there on the board. I feel like I blew a lot of removal there. Luckily, he only has two cards in his hand. Oh no, Silver Hand Knight. Where is that flame strike? Game. Kind of cold. Well, let's see. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I have to do this or I lose. I do this and I'll ping down the. Where do I ping down? If I leave him up, then what? If I ping him down, I can't do much. Uh, I think I'll ping him down and drop the worgen. Worst things comes worst. Uh, we're gonna, gonna kill two two things next turn, I think. Okay, he'll reinforce. And, and that's an annoying thing, but he still becomes 2 3 with Wind Fury. Okay, let's see. I should ping down. Should I ping down anything? If I ping this guy down, 
I get uh, cheaper minions and I can drop a bunch. But is that enough? Do I want to ping this guy and get him enraged? Well, I can, I can ping this guy and then hit that dude and yeah, I'm, I think I'm still dead. I could pull this guy back and drop him again. Well, that won't do anything. Okay, let's see. Ping this guy down. Attack this guy. Become 2-2. Two, two. Then um, can't really do anything. And he has 7 damage there, which is totally enough. So... Yeah, that's that, I think. So, well played. Let's go, go quest in adventure, this guy... Uh, And he has the 7 damage to kill me there. Okay. A tough match against Mr. Juve. My second loss. Well, when you get this high up in the, in the matches, I'm guessing you are against pretty uh, tough, pretty great uh, decks, I'd say. I mean, he didn't have anything too tricky there. Just a decent amount of good minions there. Okay, well, this was Uko, playing Hearthstone Arena. Until next time.